Thank you for joining me for today's video. We're gonna do a quick mindfulness exercise. mindfulness is that you can do it basically anywhere you can do mindfulness exercises while you're at the store in line waiting to check out you can do it at work in the middle of your breaks you can even do it in a meeting <laughs> so mindfulness exercises are really great basically what you're doing is you're taking your focus and you are focusing outward and you can also focus inward. So focusing outward would be focusing on the things outside of you, outside of your body. Focusing inward would be focusing on the, maybe your sensations that you're feeling, maybe the thoughts and emotions that you're having, and maybe focusing on like the physical things that are happening in your body, like your breath and your heartbeat um, and things like that. So. I love, love, love to do this, especially on my breaks. I schedule mindfulness breaks on my Outlook calendar so I can take these breaks throughout the day so I can increase my focus. And I just want to mention that meditation and mindfulness isn't about shutting off the outside world and forgetting about everything and then just going into this cave and not worrying about what's going on. What meditation and mindfulness does is help to increase focus and clarity so that regardless of what's going on outside of you, regardless of these things that you cannot control, um, you have the ability to be self-aware with focus, with clarity, um, so, it's, it's so that when things happen that you don't expect to happen or when things go wrong, you will still have feelings. <laughs> you'll still get angry, you'll still be upset, you'll still be able to be happy, you still have those abilities, but you can examine yourself, you can examine your feelings and your thoughts, and then that way, when you have to move forward with a decision, you'll be able to do it with a much clearer mind. It doesn't, it doesn't stop, you know, life from happening, because nothing can do that, but I just wanted to like clarify that because I think that there's a big misconception that if you start meditating, you're gonna be the happiest person that there ever was, which is not true at all. <laughs> I think you feel your feelings a lot more when you start meditating and when you start doing these mindfulness exercises. So just really quickly, wherever you're at, if you wanna do this mindfulness exercise, let's get started. So just taking inventory of where you're at right now. Like, where are you? <laughs> Right now I'm in a room with white walls. And just take um, inventory of where your body is. Right now I'm sitting on a chair. I can feel the chair underneath my legs. I can feel my feet touching the leg of the chair. But what about you? What do you feel? Where are your feet? Where are your legs? Where are your hands? Are they resting on your laps? Are they on your stomach? Are your hands touching each other? Just focusing on physical sensation right now. Then let's turn the focus inward. Do you feel your shoulders rising and falling with each breath? Maybe you feel your ribs expanding. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat. And maybe you can expand your breathing just a little bit if it's comfortable, expanding your inhales. And maybe lengthening the exhale. Then maybe you start noticing your thoughts and your feelings. And that's fine. Just notice them being the observer. And slowly start wiggling your fingers and your toes. And just bringing awareness back into the room, maybe doing some gentle movements, 
And that's a basic mindfulness exercise that you can do at any time. Makes me feel way more relaxed, makes me feel way more focused and ready for the rest of my day. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope I demystified a little bit of mindfulness and meditation for you. So uh, see you guys next time. Bye.